as a former math teacher and as a former student of mathematics, I want to share with you some strategies and ideas on how you could pass your math exams using flashcards. My name is Rosanna Hernandez and I write for efficiencyandorganization.com and this is the Efficiency and Organization YouTube channel. I share ideas and strategies on how people could be more productive and well managed with time and efficient in life by to be able to achieve a lot more. Now this video I wanted to make because I am a math teacher in my heart and I used to teach math at the high school level and I figured what better way than to show people who are interested what I did to help me pass a whole bunch of math exams in my life. So you know how you take notes in your class and you have examples, right? Like math examples, math vocabulary words. Those appear on exams usually. What I did was use flashcards. These work wonders for me. So these I typically would buy from a dollar store. Some have lines on them and like nothing on the back side. And then others would just be blank on both sides. The cheapest place I found was on um, not even Amazon and places like that. It was actually at the dollar stores. So I would purchase them and as I would take a notebook or even like a small whiteboard and practice the math problems the day before, two days before, whenever I made a mistake on a problem, I would say, oh my goodness, this one I need to redo. So I would write it on one side, the problem again, and then I would turn it around and I would write the answer on the other side. Now I would carry those with me all the time, like in my purse, in my backpack. So every time that week before the test or a few days before the test, I needed to revise and restudy. I would just focus on the problems that I missed. Because see, that's the thing. I think as students of mathematics, a lot of times we focus over and over on problems we already know how to solve. We have to force ourselves to focus on the, the content, the topics that we don't know, we are having trouble with. So just by repetition, we build automaticity and we perform a lot better. So I'm speaking from experience and I'm telling you that these work so well for me. Um, having like a little whiteboard that you could purchase also that they have at dollar stores would help because then you could just do the problem and erase if you need to. And like I mentioned, it both for vocabulary words, it works really well also. For more tips on how you could be an organized and efficient student, I recommend you go on efficiencyandorganization.com and check out the focus area that's specific for students. There are other focus areas on the website that you can also check out. Thank you for being with me today and I hope to catch you in the next